We're back on the ride, Nafi Lounge live Saturday morning, DSN Network, W under the broadcasting, Nafi Lounge app, and www.nafilounge.com. Still joined and continuously joined by the lovely Toy Rodriguez. He kicked me out of my seat, ladies Rodeo's and gentlemen. Rodeo's been banished to the back this of is the not, bus. This, this is not a computer glitch. <laughs> I am upstairs in Eddie's room. <laughs> in Eddie's room. Yeah. In Eddie's room. Get out of my room. Get Eddie's out of my room. space. Eddie's room. Well, this part of Nafi Lounge is sponsored by Casa Restaurant and Lounge. Um, now, every Wednesday night and all summer long, the Nafi Lounge team will be hosting 950 Lounge Wednesdays with DJ P- Premier, Pierre, excuse me, Premier, no, nah, he ain't there. Um, <laughs> DJ Pierre and the lovely cello, um, uh, fashion model cello, uh, or else, no, I forgot cello's last, Perez, um, Perez. <laughs> at Casa Restaurant and Lounge, 3607 East Tremont Avenue. Um, party starts at 4 for happy hours, so come there early. This is some great music, some oldies music, grown folk time, mm-hmm. Casa Restaurant Lounge, and 950 Lounge, yeah. getting it together. 3607 like- East mm-hmm. Tremont Avenue, Bronx, New York, 10465. Mm-hmm. If you want to go to Casa for dinner, you can always do that, 718-792-2272. Okay. Now, I just want to thank everybody that came out. Um, we started this past Wednesday. They had a nice turnout. Shout out to Sam and his team. They um, do an excellent job. I make everybody feel comfortable, like a family atmosphere. Without question. We'll see you there this Wednesday. It's supposed to be 88 degrees, so um, I will have to take the suit off and come, you know, a little bit less, less dressed. Yeah, T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> um, Toy, if you want to make that drive up, you're more than welcome. We'll, we'll, right. we'll get you home. We'll, we'll, we'll get right. you home safe. We'll, we'll have, we'll have Madam Butterfly fly you. Yeah. First class. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do so yet. They don't know who that is yet. But we got a brother here <laughs> who was here last year. and He mm. uh, was performing last year, part of a group, and uh, we've stayed in touch. He's had a lot of adversities, but he's still standing tall. He's brought a one, of, one of his artists here, and they're going to tell you about their story. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nafi Lounge, Mr. Mel Smooth and his artist, the lovely Shay Butterfly. Yo, what's yo, going yo, on, guys? What's good? What's good? Morning. How are you? Hi, Shay. Speak, Shay. Hey, Shay, like, uh, me, go me. I don't want hair. You want the mic, But girl. my skin is so soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I use Cam-A. Um <laughs> But what's, what's good, Mel? I mean, you've been doing some nice things, man, and... and uh, first and foremost, thanks for coming out. I yeah, I, I know, gotta man. say, cause <laughs> not to put your business in the street, but I think it, it it does offer some courage and strength that you know you had a few you had a fire. Yeah, you know, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, it was it was a crazy fire, you know. It was caused by next door, mm. oh. but you know my family, everybody's good, everybody's safe. Thank That's God. what matters. Yeah. 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 But you know that happened, put me at the bottom, but you know I'm coming right back. No <laughs> doubt, no doubt, man. I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad you stayed in touch and. You know, Mel, the, the kind of Mel was getting at me a little bit. He was getting a little angry because I, I, I didn't respond back. I was a little busy one day. Like, yo, did you get my text? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Dog. I apologize. Don't kill me. But my bad. This guy is all good. That's he has a Bruce Mobile. Um, yeah. 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 I, I, I didn't I didn't pay the bill. So, you know, when they, you, they start cutting you down minutes. You know, they yeah. cut that bandwidth down. No, I'm joking. Yeah. But let's talk about your music, man. You, you, you're working with an artist now. You're doing your own thing. Talk about the journey. What's going on right now with your brand? I well, you know, we about to start doing shows again. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because like, the fire, mm-hmm. it like really messed up a lot. Right. Which set me back a lot. <clears throat> and now, I, um, me and Shay actually started working together, mm-hmm. hand in hand with Universal Prodigy. So now, we're going on a show. Like I just had a show in Blue Lounge. It was, it was real turned up. Mm-hmm. You know, later on in the month, me and I have a show. It's a showcase actually with Hot 97. Mm-hmm. So see, up. yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of things going on, a lot of videos you're gonna be seeing. I'm gonna be forwarding right. you, you know what I'm saying? So right now, me Shay actually she's about to drop her new track today. So oh, well, that's what's uh-huh. up. Mm-hmm. Now Shay, I know you said you had a long long night and a very early morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but talk My about soul. <laughs> talk about working with Mel Number One and Number Two. Just the music, your music in general. When people hear your style of rap, where they get from it. Uh, what's your inspirations? But let's talk first with, with what you get from working with Mel. Well, he's a go-getter. Like, everything I say, I, I need this, I need this, he, he, made, he get it done. Mm-hmm. So, you know, of course, I love working with him. So we, we put our ideas together, and it just they just work. So I right. just... Just He's a throwback, Big Daddy King. He gets the job. Yeah. Done. <laughs> I work. Okay, like who yeah, that? I'm just, who just a worker. Daddy just a worker. Daddy. Working hard. Work. You know that's what really matters. Right. And getting back on, you know, Universal Prodigy. You know, getting things back together. Right now it's me and Shay. It's my DJ, DJ Swift. Right now, mm-hmm. pretty small, pretty small. But mm-hmm. we're doing a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? So during the summertime, you're gonna be hearing about parties, 
performances. Non-stop. I think I think this young lady. I don't know. She, maybe her maybe her son might want to come. Little baby, yo, I'm yeah, you know? son, don't pick me up. I ain't got my license. All um, ages, uh, everybody <laughs> over twenty one. <laughs> so he got a couple no, years yeah. more than <laughs> twenty one without parents. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Shay, I mean, um, Toy, you have any questions for us? So, Shay, you say you perform. What kind of music is it that you perform? Well, I rap and sing a little bit, but, you know, right now you I'm dance? on my... I can dance, no, but can I haven't you been. Dance? <laughs> you can dance. You're a little bit of nation. Yeah. I I'm, I'm really want a choreographer because I don't want to... The hassle of making up all these dances. Yeah, because it's a lot. It's dance. a lot. Yeah. That's like set entertainer right so there. To <laughs> sing, to <laughs> sing, to sing, to the left. Oh, and I'm rap, sorry. it's yeah. it's a lot of work. So you it will is. need that help. Yeah. Yeah, she have a lot of skills. Like, a lot of skill sets. That's why I decided to work with her. Because I'm like, you know, and not like you like a one-trick pony. You got multiple tricks. <laughs> you know, you can do it. You can do okay, everything. I like it. <laughs> 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 I need a 950 John. Let's take a break. What's what talking about? Josh, you got something so on there? So who do you look up to right now? Like who's pushing you guys to you know, strive better? Who are you looking to see? Like, I want to meet them. I want to meet this person. I want to be better than that person. Who's pushing you right now? Right, like, my idol in rapping is fabulous. But as a business person, a go-getter, it'll be 50 Cent. Okay. He yep. type of person that, you know, he don't take orders for nobody. He, and he, gets what, he gets what he has to get done. So, yeah, I, I always look to it. You know, I'll listen to him when I come in here. Now, why fabulous? I'm just cause I'm a I'm a rap head, so why yeah. fabulous all the rappers out there, why fabulous? Just curious. Fabulous cause of flow. Like I, I was always admired his flow and okay. his wordplay. I was like even when I was young, I'd be like, Oh, he killed it even <laughs> low so I was I was even bumping that, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. that was like my idol of, you know, making music. And, and Brooklyn represents Brooklyn. Of course. Exactly. Of course. Style. <laughs> what what about you, Shay? Some what's some of your or music inspiration? Well, um, I got like K Michelle, of course, is number one. <laughs> I love Rihanna <laughs> and Nicki Minaj. That's my no, I love her. Uh, well, so okay. They you you, you Interesting that you said K Michelle first. Yeah, no one you yeah, no one you says K Michelle oh, first. <laughs> what? Take care, let's, Crazy, black job. Like, yeah, I just Interesting. love her music. I just love her music as real, and her music speaks to me. I'm just saying, I'm real too. So it's like. So, why nobody been to mess with you, huh? Nobody, no. <laughs> you know, no. She bumped that all the time, K mm. Michelle. So mm. yeah. I really think that's. I mean, her the outside of her music, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Can't touch that topic. But. I love her music. Yeah, I love her music. So you'd be like Diana Ross. You got that Diana Ross look with the hat on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 6 a.m. I ain't got no time to do my hair. I'm going to make this work. I thought it was so I keep my hands so <laughs> Let's talk about Universal Prodigies. Uh, you know, obviously, again, I know when you was here last year, you got to put a lot of work and it's starting to pay off. You mm -hmm. added a fantastic artist. Talk about Universal Prodigies project in general, the business side of it, because I think a lot of our listeners, um, whether they're young or old, you know, they have pretty good music. But I think mm -hmm. what people don't really think about much if they're not in the game is the business side of it. You know, the P.T. Barnum style, how you have to go out and find your own way. Talk about some of the challenges that you've had to do as an independent artist and um, label. Well, as an independent artist, uh, it's a lot of challenges of people actually willing to work with you. And nobody never want to, you know, like in New York City, mm -hmm. there's thousands and thousands and thousands of rap artists. There's thousands and thousands of people that want to get into the business. But the business end, right. there's very, very few people that know the business end. Right. So, like, in the business end, and, like, my challenges was, like, you know, getting paperwork done, you know, trying to get certain music on the radio because, you know, try to get it on certain radio stations, they... Act all funny about things and um, a lot of copywriting. <laughs> I can say right. it like that. I like doing doing the process of like the bin, uh, like the business end is a long process. Now you, you mentioned obviously Fifty Cent, who who has become a businessman just as much an artist these days. Mm -hmm. is, was that just kind of like the person you emulated from the business side, or did you actually follow business people in different worlds and you know apply that to the music side for yourself? Well, I apply it in the sense like you know like last year you know I'm doing music, but I'm more like an artist. Like I knew I knew a lot about the business, but I didn't know as much as I know now. Like, it's a whole new year, <laughs> new yeah. me, mm -hmm. all that. So. I think that was the route that I took. I took it like more on the streets at first, you know, being a rapper. And then, you know, I sat down and actually focused on more of the business end. Right. So when I focus on the more on the business end, now I'm like, okay, now I can do both. 
and I can do it better, you know? Now, I want to ask both of you guys a question. I want you to ask and answer it um, individually. Now, obviously, what's happened with Troy Ave um, at, 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 um, a couple weeks ago at the TI event, um, it's kind of put a scar on the, especially rap music, urban music, mm-hmm. anything with an 808 in it, it just seems to now be under siege. Uh, being a businessman, how do you see that affecting your brand as an artist? Because obviously you're an artist, but the business of the music comes for, for being the artist. Like you got mm-hmm. Shape of Former Day. But how do you kind of, you know, take the fears out of the events and venues you work at or you're performing at to say, I'm, I'm, I'm a rap artist, but my rap is different or it's going to bring a different persona out. Talk about that a little bit, how that's being affected because of what's going on in the industry in general. All right. I'm going to say this. Like in the streets, you know, when you make certain songs, you can create a lot of beef. You can create a lot of problems and whatnot. Up at a certain bracket Mm -hmm. when be like, all right, you know what I did or like what I can do, but I'm not that person. Right. You know, I'm more of a business person. I'm about music. I'm about making you know, good music for people to, people to enjoy. Now with Toy Ave, mm-hmm. it's an unfortunate situation, but there's a lot of rap artists out here that, you know, carry around arms mm-hmm. just for protection. Because they know certain things they say is going to get them in a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. So, Shay, yeah. I'm sorry. Shay, your thoughts on that. You're a female artist. So you strike, I mean, and you mentioned some, some of the inspirations are more the sexual being type rappers mm-hmm. now i don't know if you're going to you know rip your shirt off and perform here it's a family program <laughs> but i'm just making a joke she but you perform right now if she wants <laughs> but your thoughts on like you know what the value of your of your lyrics to the value of how you present yourself image wise is it important for a female rapper you know, to be those things that the Nickies are, or is it you want to just be known for your for your mic talents, or you know, talk about that that balance that you have to walk as a female artist. I mean, I'm all about boss. So mm-hmm. me, it's like you gotta as I talk about it in my music, I'm gonna portray it to everybody else. Right, so right. and you gotta be careful about what you portray to everybody else because you get a reaction to everything. So mm-hmm. I just say be like careful about what you put out there you gotta be able to back it up 100 percent, and you gotta be prepared to what's gonna come to you that's it i hear you we're chopping up with mel smooth jay butterfly here on 950 lounge just you want to i always like to ask artists this question um there was a part in the black album in the movie where jay-z goes artists are not writing they're right they're writing but they're not writing how they feel they're writing about what their listeners want to hear do you write how you feel and what's going on in your life or do you just to just you know have a a song where your listeners are like oh yeah this is a great song do you do you write from the heart or do you just write to write i write from the heart personally this is why because i can write something and just you know make something you know just a party joint just talking but everything that i write personally is what i what i did what i do <laughs> you know sometimes i'll go to a party turn up uh, uh you know and i come home and just start writing what i did Right. You know, so I'm more of a person that writes about experience because I can write about, you know, all that shooter, that shooter talk. I can write about, you know, being that being that guy. That guy, right. Yeah. But right. That's not I'll you be are, like I, when I perform, you won't feel it because mm-hmm. that ain't real. Right. You got to you got to write down what you feel, what you feel inside. That's you. Mm-hmm. And yeah. people will react a lot more to you if you write down who you really are. Chef. Yeah, Chef. I, I write from I write from the heart. I write my own stuff, like <laughs> everything that I talk about, everything that happened, and or how I feel personally. And people like what you feel, and you don't talk about, you know. People like people react to that because it's like nobody really says it out loud. So. Right. That's what I, I like to write like that. So. And it's just honesty nowadays. Like you hear a lot of guys out here running around talking about they killing and shooting everybody. But when you meet their life, and they, they never shot a gun. gun. You're my man. <laughs> they, 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 they never shot a gun. They don't even own one. They never, what is this? They look like Carlson. You know? <laughs> so. I'm looking at them like, you? Really? <laughs> it's never like that. Like it's me personally, I write about, you know, the party life. I write about the turn up life. I write about the strip club life. Why? You know about That's, the strip clubs. I'm 21. <laughs> what? Black on his chin. I'm like a daddy. I'm like a daddy. You feel like a daddy? What? Mel, Mel's in love with the Toto. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I want to. I want to ask Shay. 
How how'd you get your name? Cause I, I like the name Shea Butterfly. You know, how did uh, you get that name? <laughs> it ain't from Shea Butter, right? <laughs> <laughs> they try to call try me that it. too, but uh -huh. all right, Butterfly was a name given to me by somebody very important to me in my life, mm -hmm. and Shea was just always a name that everybody wound up calling me because I never liked Nene. I thought it was too ghetto. <laughs> um, my original name is Shanae, so uh -huh. they just wound up switching it. Shay, so okay. I know people was like Shanae. I know. Yeah, know, I got yeah. 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 with that name. I uh, swear, uh, my mom got my name from Martin <laughs> because it's like Shanae Payne. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, Shanae and Martin Payne. Oh God. Your last name is Payne. Yes. She brings the coincidence. I don't want to see you in court next month, Oh my God. Wow. That if you was funny. a comedian, you'd be perfect. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, let's talk about the five-year plan, Mel, um, Shay. Um, you guys have a, a unique chemistry. You met, you know, met Shay last week, and, and even though we just had met you know, in, in transaction, you guys saw, had chemistry even just, and you know, you can see the, the, the nonverbal communication and, and chemistry was there. Let's talk about the five-year plan. Where do you see yourself, number one, as a, a mogul with Universal Prodigies, and number two, where you see Shay. I, I, I don't want to artist right now. I want to talk about you, the businessman. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to give you a little advice, <laughs> young fella. I want to talk to you about the businessman because the business part will, will always supersede the artist. But let's talk about you as an organization, as a label, and then talk about what you see Shay at, where you see Shay as in the next couple of years. Well, me, in the next, in the next couple of years, I see myself <laughs> running a real successful label, actually. Like, as a pace that we're going at the moment, mm -hmm. Because we're we moving fast. Like, out of nowhere, we, we're actually moving fast. Like, people hitting me up like, oh, you're moving pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So in a couple of years, I see myself, you know, having other artists. I see myself, you know, connecting with other managements and spreading the name of Universal Prodigies. Because mm -hmm. it's all types of music. Right. Not just rap. Not just, you know, it goes everywhere. Mm -hmm. And with Shay, I see her, like, as much as a uh, hand-in-hand -hand business partner. Like, I see her, like, when I do, like, business decision, I call her. Right. FYI, I'm the COO. No, oh, just okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a member. Oh, oh, oh. I'm yeah. the COO. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, oh, yes. yes. I'm going to throw that in there. Yeah. <laughs> so she always, she always going to have that pull in Universal Prize. So you guys are here. both bosses. And you're both artists. That's that's what's up. So you keep the money in the family. I also yeah. want to give some give you some advice oh, no. that came from um, oh, Suge no. Knight. Don't oh, be up no. in all the videos. Dancing. Dancing. <laughs> Don't fall up in the front of the camera. Nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. <laughs> Come to University Projects. Yeah. Even, when you, even when you say Shake Night, gonna people. Like, hey. Even when you say the name Shake Night, people that stop like, okay, Shake Night. But what yeah. we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the stage for for you, Shane. Shane, you gonna perform what? Cause I'm popping. Of course yeah. you're popping. Okay, we're gonna She's find popping. out why you're popping in about three minutes. We'll take a quick break. We're gonna reset the stage up, and it's um we're gonna have uh, something we haven't done in a while. A live performance. Nine Feet Lounge live on a Saturday. Come on back. This is All a right. certified hood classic. Get up, 9.30. 